If you are spending the same amount of time in front of your computer as I do, like 8, 9, 10 hours per day, you know how important a good browser is. You need to be intuitive, easy to use, and it should not limit you in any way. Uh, through years of my career, I've been working with um, Safari, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Opera, and Brave, and none of them was a great one. For example, Safari was quick, but did not support all of the extensions I needed. Chrome usually is not as quick, but has everything you need, etc., etc. Um, recently, I heard about Sigma OS, and I think it might be a really good compromise between all of them, and it can fit you perfectly. Uh, so you can customize this browser and you can work with it seamlessly. So let's dive into a quick overview of Sigma OS. I will show you what I experienced with this browser through the last three weeks of my usage. I will show you the features of the browser and some of the bugs that uh, you can still find in there. Um, let's dive into that. So this is Sigma OS. I've been working with that for about three weeks now. I tried to keep it as my solo browser, but I was not able to, and I will tell you why in a second. Uh, let's dive into how it works and what is the main feature of that. So as you can see, the very first feature they highlight are the workspaces. So on my left, you can see that I can jump between different workspaces in here. So this allows you to separate your browsing experience from work, personal, or Notion in my case, where I do all of my research, uh, from each other. So you can be even locked into different accounts in each one of them. So you can be locked into several Facebook accounts, several Google, uh, Google accounts, accounts, etc. Uh, thanks to the separate cookies feature, which I will show you in a second. So that is really, really cool. If you compare it to Google Chrome, it's something like um, separate windows. So you can open new window and within this window, you will have separate tabs. The problem though, is that all of these windows will share the same cookies, right? Within the uh, Google Chrome. So you wouldn't be able to use different accounts. You can have only one incognito account in um, uh, Google Chrome. So uh, it allows you to have additional accounts open, let's say. Um, in here, it done a little bit differently. So in here, it's a lot easier to manipulate a bigger amount of tabs. Um, as you can see, I have uh, all of different tabs in here. And for the accounts where I have several tabs, for example, this is my uh, Facebook FB, and you can rename it. So if I double click, I can call it socials, for example, and it will be here. I can uh, host all of my social profiles all at once. As you can see, I can log them. So I will not complete them and I can just, so if I will try to complete the, the, the page, uh, let me lock it and let me try to complete it. It will tell me that this page is locked. So it allows you to uh, keep them separate. So this is like the, the first main feature, the structure of the browser. As you can see, again, it looks completely different to your Google Chrome or Safari. So your tabs are not on the top, they're on the left side. And if you click um, here in the very top, or if you learn all of the short keys, which are critical within this browser, um, then you can uh, do like immersive experience and, have, and be, be focused just on this one page. This is really, really, really cool. Okay, so next features that um, I love in here is that Sigma is built on top of the Chromium. So it allows you to keep all of your favorite password, all of your favorite extensions, sorry, passwords, uh, bookmarks, etc. So the migration in here is really, really easy. When you will first open Sigma, this is what you are going to see. You are going to see um, a prompt to choose your favorite search engine, uh, password manager, ad blocker. So it has a built-in ad blocker. I will show it to you in a second. And all of these other features that you can customize within here, right? Uh, either you like it dark or light, it, of course it's dark, um, etc. Next thing that I wanted to show to you is how easy it is to interact with Sigma. So in order to start your search, you just click space. It allows you to type whatever you want, so google.com. And as you can see, right now I already have google.com opened in a different workspace. So it says to me that I can just jump to the top rather than open a new one. So I can either choose that or I can um, open like the top hits or just use the search. If I will open sub tabs, click in the command, 
As you can see, all of them will be hosted under my main tab. So again, if I'm doing a research, I can just uh, click the drop down and have them in one group. Once I'm done, I can just click done and uh, erase all of them as you can see. Or uh, if I will use them uh, shortcuts to jump between tabs up and down. So for me, I change them. So down is two and up is one. Um, the actual like numbers one and two. Um, I can jump between these tabs really quickly and I can complete them by again clicking just one uh, shortcut. So the Sigma OS is about a one shortcut key. So if I click here on the left, if I open the cheat sheet, you can see what are the default ones. So we can preview them in here. As you can see, they're really, really quick. So to uh, undo the last action, you just click Z. So if I click Z, I open uh, everything I close just now. Uh, to open the shortcut, to create a new workspace, you just click W. Uh, to manipulate the page, here are your shortcuts, etc. Uh, the only changes I, I did is jumping between the pages. So uh, go up and down. They are not user friendly, so um, you need to take your hand out of the mouse and click the, the arrows. It's just like way too much work for me. So I changed them to one and two, as I mentioned. And to, to mark the page as done, it's D. Um, again, it wasn't user friendly for me. So uh, on my mouse, I changed it to the um, bottom button. Uh, this is to close the page and the top button is to go back in the history. So uh, that made the browser much, much better. So you just need to customize it and find whatever works for you the best. Another thing that you have in here is the command. So if I click command K, it opens the command for me. And here I can create a different type of actions that uh, you cannot do in Chrome. So I can click command and click new tweet, new, or if I click sheet, I can just create a new sheet by one click of the button. And um, it's so much easier than whatever we have in, in Safari, in Chrome, etc. Because um, in here you need to Google Sheets, open the sheets, then create uh, a new sheet in there, etc. So it's just harder. In here it's much, much easier. Um, another feature in here is the split screen. So if I choose a tab, let's say it's Twitter, I can click Shift and arrow to the right to open it in my uh, split screen section. So then I can go back and uh, I can change the size of the window and I can open it, right? Um, so this is great for, again, for research, for opening uh, passwords, for copying text, for writing notes based on the on the page, etc. So it's really, really, really cool. Um, to close it, you can just click in here or again, learn uh, Shift and D it's to, to close that one or you can just hide it as well. Um, Another thing is the focus mode. So as you can see right now, the screen, the screen is really cluttered. So I have uh, two sidebars, one of the left, one of the right. And on the small screen, it's just impossible to work. So on the small screen, your actual content will be like this size. So like mobile view, it doesn't really make sense. So whenever you don't need anything, you just click F and you jump into focus mode and you again focus just on one tab, then click F again and you exit the focus mode in here. And let's do a final run through some of the additional features. So it supports Apple Keychain. So if you are using Safari, you will be able to migrate your password seamlessly in here. It's a so it supports the Chrome extensions. So I can just click Alt E and see my Chrome extensions in here. It, um, um, it uh, does offer a separate cookie. So if you create a new workspace, this is something I mentioned. So let's do it like private. Um, let's do emoji of the avocado is a good one and go to the settings. I can choose for this browser to use a separate set of cookies. So log into multiple accounts if the pages are in different workspaces. This is awesome. So if you are social media manager or if you have a lot of different profiles or whatever the use case may be, this is an also awesome feature. And also you can use the private browsing in here so history won't be safe and cookies will be deleted. Um, we know why we use that. So. Um, this is the, this feature alone is something that will sell this browser for majority of people uh, because again as i mentioned in chrome even if you open separate incognito windows all of them will share the same cookies so you will not be able to benefit from this multiple accounts um ad blocker ad blocker works really great um 
not perfect, but good enough. So for example, YouTube, right? Uh, if I open the settings for YouTube, I can customize if I want to use the ad blocker here, etc. So as you can see, ad blocker is on and this is the ad. So let me refresh the screen. So we will see that it's actual ad. Uh, let's try to search uh, for something, so something. Um, or you know what, let's try to use Shopify. Yeah, as you can see right now, it blocks them. Sometimes it passes them through. Sometimes you can see them in here. Uh, so this is just something that you need to be aware of. They are fixing everything on an ongoing basis. So uh, with Sigma, through the last three weeks of my usage, I've received like five different updates. So this is cool. Um, what is not cool is that I need to uh, close my browser, refresh everything and wait for a um, few seconds usually. But anyways, I just don't like closing my browsers. So uh, this is something um, that is being fixed on an ongoing basis. Um, some of the additional features. What I love from all of that is the reminders. So that can replace your iPhone reminders if you usually tell, hey Siri, remind me to do X in something. Um, you can just click R and write, remind me to um, shoot a video and specify the time frame in uh, 23 minutes. So et cetera, et cetera. You can write this down and then you can open them inside window and see all of them. Um, Finally, as you can see, they have several tiers. So uh, you can have the personal ones. It's limited to three workspaces. So you can find, uh, you, you, you need to manage them in a specific way, I would say. So like personal work and something else, like private maybe. Um, but uh, it's totally, totally doable. In here, you have a cross device syncing. I'm not using, um, I'm not using the Sigma OS on my uh, iPhone. So I will not benefit from that. Uh, one co-browsing workspace, I'm not sure what that even is. Uh, probably it's for Teams, right? Uh, and the last one is unlimited co-browsing, shared permissions, admin tools. So I don't see a lot of value in, in this. By default, uh, you will be starting in Personal Pro, I believe. Um, so we will be able to try it. The only benefit here is the unlimited workspaces. So that is something cool. And maybe to support the project overall, uh, I would opt in and pay uh, $8 um, per month. Um, um, or it's annually, so it's more like 90, right, per, per year, uh, just to support the project. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention about the uh, uh, Sigma before we jump to some of the cons is that uh, they are really responsive. So I brought, I believe, two different um, tickets. So in here in FAQ, you can write a quick feedback form, you can uh, report some um, bags, etc., and they reply to me really quick. So I love this because this is not something you can expect with Chrome or Safari ever. Okay, uh, now some of the cons from Sigma. One of the biggest cons for me is that it's really, really difficult to use Sigma on two screens. Um, so you cannot drag tab. So I like in Google Chrome, you can just uh, click and drag the tab to your uh, to your other screen, but it's just not doable in here. So it won't be able to open it for you in there. What it will do, it will open you in a small window, which kind of a pop up that you can drag in there, which again is not great. So this is why I'm I'm still using Chrome as my YouTube browser. So I uh, have a setup. I have a big screen and a YouTube. Uh, separately, if I'm doing something really boring in here, then uh, I'm watching YouTube videos on my on my right to um, consume content. Another con in here is that um, either because of the ad blocker or because of the cookie blockers or because of whatever, you will be uh, logged out of uh, profiles from time to time. You also will be um, having problems with accessing some of the websites. So Cloudflare, for example, thinks that you are a bot in the majority of cases. So you like get ready to click. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not human. <laughs> I'm not a robot, uh, etc. Um, for several times, there is several ways to mitigate that. So I've experienced that with Google a lot. So what I did, uh, what what you can do is that within the Google Chrome, um, within the Google account, uh, you can right click again. You can disable the ad blocker first. You can also load page is different browsers. So if you're having problems with how page has been loaded, you can load this as, as Chrome right within the Sigma. So this is awesome. And um, another thing that I found way too late is that in the preferences, if you go to advanced um, and scroll down, 
you can manage the third party cookies. So you can uh, you can allow or not allow uh, for websites to use the third party cookies. As you can see, it's necessary to, to several websites. Um, what it will do if you disable it, it will not pass your information to the website. So if um, you clicked from Facebook ad, Facebook ad won't be passing uh, Facebook uh, click ID or Google won't be passing its click ID, etc. So it allows you to prevent your sessions from being tracked in much more robust ways, which which is awesome. And this is why a lot of people love uh, Brave, which um, had some scandals. So uh, this is why I'm not using it anymore. Uh, but this browser looks really, really good. So that's it from me. I hope um, I was able to scratch the surface. There is much, much more features that Sigma has to offer and I highly encourage you to explore them by yourself. So go ahead, download the website, uh, try to migrate that, try it for a week and see if you love it or not. If you love it, please comment below. If you don't, please tell me why. Maybe we can ask them to customize their features, customize the user experience to improve that. But I think this website has a potential to be this one one do all uh, one do all browser that um, all of the digital professionals will be able to use later on. If you had any value from this video, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. I will be trying to post a lot of this uh, digital content moving forward. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.